Hello everybody, Dino here with OverclockersTech.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Thermaltake TT Esports Shock Spin Gaming Headset. Uh, we'll start by taking a look at the box here. On the front of the box uh, there's some notations about the 50 millimeter ba uh, base enhancements, the included volume box, and the auto adjusting headband. Uh, side of the box gives you some information on the features and the specifications. Uh, the back of the box is pretty much the same information but in a multilingual format. Uh, not much on this side other than some branding and the clear window. Included in the package is this envelope here that has some literature in it. And the literature that they give you is the multi-language quick installation guide. And you also get a warranty policy pamphlet, uh, which by the way, this particular headset comes with a two-year warranty. And moving on to the headset itself, a couple of features here worth noting is the tension band on the top. Uh, instead of the old standard style that kind of pinched together at the top and locked to fit your head, this one has a adjustable band that as soon as you put it on it just kind of conforms to your head so you get a good tight snug fit. The um, ear cups are made of velvet and they're very soft and very comfortable from our uh, usage of this thing. And the thing we really liked about it was the size of the ear opening. It's plenty big for just about anybody's ear to fit inside completely which will keep you from getting uh, pinching and half of your ear in, half of it out, which can lead to, you know, some uncomfort and pain, especially if you're in the middle of a very long gaming session or just listening to music for an extended period of time. So that's a really nice feature right there. Uh, the three and a half millimeter cable by itself is not that long. If you're using a front panel, on a computer or whatever it's probably going to be long enough but if you want to do anything other than that you're probably going to want to use the volume box that they include because once you plug the volume box in and use it now you have a very long cable and this is great for like listening to music or if you're in your car using this to listen to an mp3 player or whatever you might be doing that would need a long cable you would certainly have it using this both cables with and without the volume control are sleeved very nice and look very attractive and the other thing that you may want to get if you plan to listen to a lot of music with these especially with your home theater is one of these little adapters which I buy at the uh, electronics store locally here and they're only like a couple of dollars and you can basically plug your headset into those and you can pretty much take it to any home theater amplifier and plug these headphones right into it and use them for that purpose as well. The microphone that they use on this is pretty unique it's not built into the headset like most people are used to seeing this is actually a standalone unit and it also has a very long cord so you won't have any trouble using this with your front panel or probably even plugging it into the back of your motherboard. It has a clip to put on your collar and an on off switch which you can use to mute if you'd like and just a little thermal tape branding there on the end. Okay, so I recruited my wife here to show you guys how these things go on and fit and whatnot. So we started with putting the microphone right here on her collar, and that's probably a pretty good spot for it. I'm sure it'll work quite well there for both gaming or voice recording or using Skype or whatever it is that you're going to do. So go ahead and put those on. And 
they look like they encompass her entire ear, which is important like I was describing earlier. should be comfortable for a good long time. The adjustment band got snug on her head. And the ears on each side are looking pretty good. And are they comfortable? Yes. Okay, well there you go. They should be really comfortable and you guys should enjoy using them. I wanted to spend a minute and talk about the sound quality of both the headphones and the microphone. Uh, the microphone, first of all, is omnidirectional, which is good in one sense and not so good in another. It's good in one sense that you can don't have to stick it right in your mouth to hear it or you know you can put it anywhere close and you're going to get good pickup of the sound and your voice. The bad part is it has a tendency to pick up surrounding noise and that can be offset by a lot of times with the audio utility that comes with your drivers for your audio on your computer. It's not a big issue, in fact it's, it's, it's not really bad. It's just something to be aware of and you may have to adjust with your computer audio settings to see if you can eliminate all of it or most of it or whatever. And then as far as the headset themselves go, I have to tell you I use these for listening to some music, I fired up a few games, and the sound on these are just really, really good. Um, the music was very vibrant and it was really enjoyable to use these and I also plugged them into my home stereo system using that adapter that I showed you and again the performance was really really good and in games everything is really lifelike and the bass is there for the explosions and you know anything else going on in your game it just sounds really good and as far as the microphone, back to that again, uh, nobody ever complained of not being able to hear me or it being too loud or too soft or any of that. I used it uh, talking to a buddy on Skype and he said it sounded perfectly good. So as far as the audio quality with both the headphones and the speaker, I don't think you're going to have any trouble and you'll enjoy them quite a bit.